Hello everyone. So today we are going to discuss about some more feature of the Exchange Admin Center in the Mail Flow section. So today we are going to discuss about the connector. So connector is basically is used for flowing the email messages uh, from your organization or you can say the Office 365 uh, Exchange server. So basically, if you have two uh, uh, two mailing solutions and you want you want to use the same uh domain both the sites so you can use the connector if you want to connect your uh, uh, server with office 365 for email and everything uh, like somebody some of the user is using uh, uh we can say uh, like for example if you have the exchange server in your own premises and you have already using it and recently you are your your organization or your management saying that we need to you start working on the m365 as well but the uh, the mailing solution the mailing uh, send and receive from our exchange server okay so at that time you can use the connector to so connector what connector do connector will create a routing between them to exchange server with your office 365 Okay, also you have the Google account and you want to use M365 with the same domain. That time you can also use the Google, uh, you, you can use the connector. So you can, uh, if you have Zoho, you have other things that if you have ERP, you want to make a connection, other the secure connection between them for the mail flows and uh, mail delivery, you can use the connector. There is a lot of, uh, you can say the... Uh, functionality that you can use the connector so basically it depend upon that the scenario it uh, depend upon the scenario based that what kind of uh, feature you want to achieved uh, through the connector so uh, it's basically it's, it's it's a very easily easy process for can make the connection between them you have to uh, change some services from the uh, ERP location to have to uh, change some uh, things in the connector side so how you can create it just i create a add options and now is the asking about the new connector functionality that you want to use or you want to connect from you want to connect from office 365 you you want to connect with the organization email server and you want to use the partner organization so for example if i uh, i want to connect the email server the on premises email server so i can choose this one so it give you the connection from to m365 okay so if i want to I, if i choose office 365 then it will give you the connection to your organization email server or your partner organization so from is your primary uh, you can say the primary location where your mail will land okay or flow from there so you, this option that you can use it like if my partner organization your email server and next now you have to put the connector name now what do you want to after connector is saved you want to turn on it you want to uh, retain internal exchange server header these kind of things that you can use is use of the connector that is specify when you want to use this connector so uh, for email message sent uh, from uh, accepted domain or you want to use them transport rule or uh, you can use the email message to send this domain this option this this is for you that what kind of uh, features you required okay so next now is asking about the routing it's asking about the server ip address so if you have a, if you are connecting with the on premises so you can use the connector ip address i'm just using the default one okay and just add it will give you this uh, you can add the domain name you can add the server uh, ip okay so it's once you have added just next now you should office 365 connect your email server allows tls security for connection it's by default recommended also you can use the other options for digital certification self size and sign in certification okay so you want to uh, give the alternative send name send matches domain name uh, you can use it subdomain over here so you also you can just just go to the next and now is you're asking about the 
validation email address okay so you give the validation email address uh, okay so you can use uh, any domain you can use if you are using your on premises or your office 365 you can use the validation email address uh, once you have added you just next okay so i'm just putting my email id admin at the rate ehtpl dot in okay just adding for the validation next okay and validate now once you have configured it it will validate your email address once it will validate okay my connection is okay between them then you can start routing so i have selected the estpl from ht uh, i don't have the server right now but if you have server you can put the mail id over here for the, from the server side so it will validate it with the ip address once it will make the connection between them then you can next it and create it once it is created you have to start or you have to add some uh, you have to change some server setting from the server side then you can start working on it uh, now is the now recently microsoft has launched uh, the new feature of high volume email purview so uh, for example uh, in the previously updates microsoft has uh, blocked this features for high volume email uh, but recently microsoft is under uh, under this uh, working on this high volume email that don't need or required the mail for sending a bulk mail so you can create your mail id and use that mail id for the bulk emailing uh, alert sections if uh, okay so i have uh, created this one also you can see it give you the idea that you can only create up to 10 high volume email account so if you create an email account from there you will not be able to block it okay if uh, you have sent the mail at a single uh, time like in a minute you have say, uh, sent 50 and uh, 100 or 200 mails at a time that will not be able to uh, block it so because it is already in the part of the high volume email okay uh, but if you are not using the email id from high volume email it will block it okay so you have to unblock it from your security center okay security admin center but sometime if you are using the continuous process your tenant will be blocked from the microsoft end. so um, use this high volume email uh, purviews in the future uh, alert policy and uh, somebody is breach that policies that will automatically give you the list of uh, the alerts uh, but if you want to create uh, alerts regarding the uh, email related email related, related things and uh, some forwarding emails uh, or uh, new domain forwardings and new email creation so you can use you can create that alert that admin will automatically uh, get it or admin can easily manage these things from uh, the admin portal so So how it works basically how it 